Listen to that. Is that silence? I don't know. It's like, you know, remember in Les Mis when they were all, do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men or whatever it was? No, I don't. Because it's spring break and people are gone, thank God, especially the noisy ones. Oh, actually, funny enough, one of the noisiest ones that lives across the hall is still here and was just playing loud music a minute ago, but it's so great. I don't hear doors slamming every hour of the day. I don't hear annoying people yelling and running down the hallway at, you know, inconvenient, shall we say, hours of the day. Um, by inconvenient, I mean all. Um, it's quiet. So great. So a lot of them went home, which is great. Um, I did not because I was intending to work the entire spring break, which didn't actually happen. <laughs> Um, I wanted to do my March favorites. Wow, March is done. <laughs> um, it all happened so fast. I'm wearing tie-dye short sleeves. It's kind of cold out there and kind of gray, so funny enough, I'm not matched up with the my environment on the outside. Yeah, this is going to be a good week. I'm going to do some filming, get some stuff done, do some spring cleaning, throw out some products, starting to you know, ship stuff home. But I do have some things to talk to you guys about for the month of March. So in fact, a lot of products have stayed the same from February that I've been testing, that I've been trying, that I've been loving. I won't go into detail, but... And allow Thousand Roses Moroccan Beauty Oil. Sunday Riley Luna. Earth Sciences AB Hydroxy Acid. Still using my classic products, like my oils and that sort of thing. Still loving good jeans. I've been making a dent in it, if you can see. Look at that. Shows you I like it. Still using my samples of Equilibrium. Still not liking the Photoplasma from Paracone, which is actually funny enough what I have on right now. Yeah. So, what else has changed? Things that I've purchased. I did mention in my last random little middle of the month video about some Indie Lee products, which I'm excited for. But funny enough, I had been wanting to try her stuff. I kind of just had played with it in store and thought, hey, it's cool. I, I love supporting independent brands. I really do. Um, but the perk with, um, I ordered mine from spacingk.com. The perk was that you would get a full, full one ounce size of the, which is not actually retail size, of the Eve Loam Cleanser, which I had been wanting to do because I refused to pay for that. Um, like I said, unless, of course, the apocalypse was occurring and I lost all of my sense of logic. Um, so this was free when you, plus a, a muslin, which the muslin is here. Free one ounce plus muslin when you spend $50 at Space and K, which is not hard to do. And I had been wanting to get some indie -ly things anyway. I was thinking about getting the Tata Harper oil cleanser, because that I think is 64. But I didn't. I said, you know what? I want to try all the brands. All the women. So I did the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser and the CoQ10 Toner. So these are both very interesting. Um, this has strawberry oil in it, I think, which is both enzymatic and it also helps to remove makeup. You only get four ounces of this, but it's just because it's a glass bottle, it's kind of huge. Like this feels like a cleanser. Um, and I've been using this fairly consistently, like almost every single day, either as my morning cleanser or as my second cleanse at night. So um, it's funny, I keep playing with it to see if it's drying or not, because it does emulsify. Um, even without water, it emulsifies a little bit, so I've been wanting to see if it's okay for skin that's dry to dehydrated to slightly normal, normal dry. Um, I don't know if it's best to use twice a day, every single day for drier skins, but if you do it in the morning just to get a really good cleanse or at night to kind of, um, you know, after you do your first initial makeup removal, I think it's fine. Better for normal combination oily skins. I just think it's a little too um, purifying, if we can say that, for dry skins. But it's not a bad overly harsh stripping cleanser by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I like it. Now the toner I've only used a few times, two, three times. It's nice. I don't know if the smell is like... It smells okay, you know, it's not like, oh, not like, you know, fragrance matters at all anyway, but um, yeah, it's okay. I don't like the packaging though, I will say that. Tata Harper Regenerating, still continuing to use this. I'm biting my own tongue when I 
so that I wouldn't use these super natural products, but I have. Pure Truth from Olay, the cleanser. Growing on me a little bit, still not the best thing I've ever used. If we're talking the three stage makeup cleanser, remover things. Um, Armani Maestro Compact. I bought this, I did a um, get ready with me video on it. Oh, it comes with a brush. I knew that. I was trying to seem prepared or unprepared. That's not half bad, but I wouldn't use it to apply makeup. Plastic as hell. Really light plastic. Um, this is beautiful. This looks great. I will upload that video very soon so you guys can see how it looks. I'm on an Armani kick. Not a kick, but for some reason I've accumulated a lot of Armani foundations. I have this one. I have the, um, this, the CC cream, the luminous silk, and Maestro, the liquid. I'm just missing really the lift and the lasting, which I, you know, I'm thinking the next foundation overview video I could do is the, is for Armani, you know, because why not? And as I said, the loud ass across the hall is, uh, has turned on his music, so that's really great. It's not like anyone else lives here, right? Um, okay. Continued with my Sunday Riley Rampage. And Rampage, I mean that in the nicest way possible. Um, they lowered their prices of some of the items, um, in Sephora's, and I think store-wide, or, or just lo product line wide. I could be mistaken, but they knocked down Artemis by $50. So before it was $125 and now it's $75, which is still very expensive for an oil. But I have been wanting to try Artemis. My thing is this is what I'm getting myself for my birthday. I haven't really purchased anything else for my birthday. So I did buy Artemis and I did also purchase Bionic. Now Bionic, they knocked down $100 off of it. So it's still $125, which is expensive. I've used Bionic before samples, but I haven't popped this one open yet. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I would keep it. I got so excited on my Sunday Riley, you know, quest that I kind of... It's a nice moisturizer. It's a beautiful moisturizer. There's nothing in here that's not great for your skin. There's so many antioxidants and, you know, healing and beneficial and anti-aging ingredients, but I, it's hard for me really to justify paying a lot of money for a moisturizer because I don't, I don't care about moisturizer at the end of the day as much as I care about things like oils and serums. So I haven't used it yet. Um, I'm like 50-50 on whether or not I should keep it, like truly split, because I want to have the whole Sunday Riley range, and I know that I will use it and I'll enjoy it, but it's also very hard for me to justify $125 for a moisturizer. You do get your 1.7 ounces, so it's, you know, regular size, um, but I haven't popped it open yet. Now I have been using Miss, or I guess was Artemis a man or a woman? Woman, most likely it seems, right? Woman, certainly woman. Beautiful. The scent, with all, I've noticed when they say that this has a bright lemon scented, sparkling bright lemon scented serum, you have to blend the product into the skin first because the initial shot of, I think it's the black cumin oil that makes everything smell a little bit strange and very earthy, which I don't actually mind. I know a lot of people do, but if you've never been able to smell the lemon part of the Artemis, just blend it into the skin and let it sit and then you'll smell the lemon, which comes from lemon iron, iron bark. Apparently it makes it smell super like candied lemon. Yeah, the black cumin is really off-putting at first. Um, this is a really nice oil. It absorbs beautifully into the skin. Um, I find it perfectly hydrating enough for someone with normal to sometimes dry and dehydrated skin. My skin's very, very normal, but it can go either way very quickly. Normally it goes dry though, because the water here is very, very harsh and drying. So even if I use oil cleansers, I still find that my face is like whoosh, dying for moisture after I'm out of the shower. So I find that this is perfectly enough moisture for me with someone who has slightly dry, dehydrated skin. Um, I think if you use just, you know, minimal amount, can be good for someone with oily skin, um, oily combination. I mean, you can see I put that on the back of my hand and there's not a ton left. I mean, I can't really feel like a, a super oily slickness. You know, maybe my hand is just a little bit more hydrated, but I don't think it's overly hydrating or overly moisturizing or rich or emollient um, for anyone who has, you know, combination to, dry, to um, normal, 
combination oily skin. That's what I was trying to say. So I do love it. The next one on my list is to get um, Isis, which um, I believe is being renamed to Flora because unfortunately, you know, it's a touchy subject, so let's not go there. But um, yeah, so Artemis, big thumbs up, Bionic. It's not, it's, it's not that it's not a great product, it's just for me personally, I don't like to spend a ton of money on moisturizer. And even if it is $100 cheaper than it was before, it's still hard for me to stomach $125 on a moisturizer, especially when there's so many inexpensive ones that I love. Speaking of, my life was lacking in CeraVe. Is it CeraVe or CeraVe? I think it's CeraVe. That's what I'm gonna say. The moisturizing lotion, um, I just, I didn't have this and I was, bummed that I didn't have it and I've already used I've had it not even a week and it's already down to I think here this is my body moisturizer of choice and sometimes if I'm just feeling so intensely lazy that's just what I throw on as my moisturizer because it's I mean there's nothing bad in it and it's hydrating enough water binding more so than having oils or thickeners or whatever but um yeah it's just it's such a good body moisturizer it absorbs beautifully there's no oil in it that I'm aware of. It's just hyaluronic, ceramides, glycerin, that sort of thing. So if you have sensitivity to fragrances, to anything like that, to irritating ingredients, um, CeraVe. CeraVe. Um, it's just such a beautiful body moisturizer, so I love that um, very much. I'm going to be doing a spring cleaning video too after I film this. Um, I've got a few things that I just need to throw out and then ship back, so I'm gonna talk about those and, you know, mention what I'm doing. Um, yeah, nothing super exciting or different that I really, truly want to mention. All right, that is it, friends. Um, not super exciting, but watch the last video, because that's really where I talk about a lot of the things, but just Indy Lee, I'm very excited about. Sunday Riley Artemis, I'm excited about. Glad to have an Eve Loam one ounce cleanser, because I did not want to pay for it at all. Um, and I did, two posts on Instagram, one for my favorite, two favorite skincare brands, which I won't mention what they are, so you have to go just check out them on Instagram, which is a shameless plug to say follow me on Instagram. Um, but I am gonna be filming a video that people um, requested me to do on one of those two brands on my favorite products from them. So I'm gonna do that actually right now. And um, I will talk to you all really soon. Bye.